the heavenly banquet will be a place of reunion, where the earthly separation melts away, and love's bond becomes unbreakable. In many homes, the dinner table is always a heartwarming moment. In heaven, it will be a soul-satisfying one, reuniting us beyond the veil of mortality. But what will the dinner table look like in heaven? Is it a grand banquet echoing with angelic harmonies, or a tranquil garden setting where our beloved lost ones will find themselves once again? Perhaps the most beautiful moment and place is not a physical location but a feeling, a sense of belonging, of being understood, and of unconditional love. Our dinner table in heaven is wherever we find ourselves in the presence of those we cherish, be it here on earth, or in the great beyond. At the divine banquet of the Lord, we shall raise our glasses in a triumphant toast to the ultimate defeat of sin and death and to the dissolution of all barriers between us and the divine as well as amongst ourselves. Envision a celebration that surpasses your most extravagant dreams, a feast meticulously crafted by the Creator's own hand. Picture a table where every tear is tenderly wiped away and each heart overflows with everlasting joy and gratitude. This is the celestial banquet, the supreme festivity reserved for those who place their trust in Jesus Christ. The sacred scriptures offer fleeting glimpses of this magnificent occasion, a vow emboldened and upheld by the faithful for generations. From Isaiah's prophecies to Jesus' parables, and ultimately to the visions granted to John, the heavenly banquet remains a potent emblem of the Almighty's affection, mercy, and the promise of eternal life extended to all believers. Let us delve into the profound depths of this extraordinary pledge. As we reflect upon the paradisiacal tables, may our hearts brim with eager anticipation, and our faith grow robust in the knowledge that we too, shall partake in this splendid jubilation, in the company of our Redeemer. The theme of the heavenly banquet is intricately interlaced throughout the scripture's narrative, from the ancient prophecies of the Old Testament to the assurances of the New Testament. Let us examine some pivotal passages illuminating this divine repast's splendor and importance. In the book of Isaiah, a compelling prophecy concerning the heavenly feast is found in chapter 25 verses 6 to 8. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats, and the finest of wines. On this mountain he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations, he will swallow up death forever. The Sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces, he will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth, the Lord has spoken, New International Version. The Lord will tenderly erase every tear from all faces, and eradicate his people's shame from the entire earth. In the New Testament, Jesus himself speaks of the heavenly feast in Matthew chapter 8 verse 11 proclaiming, I say to you that many will come from the east and the west, and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. This verse reminds us that the heavenly banquet is not merely an event of the future, but a testament to the eternal communion with the patriarchs and the Savior himself. Perhaps the most vivid portrayal of the heavenly feast is encapsulated in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 6 to 8, Reverend 19.6. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters and like loud peals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. This passage is rich with symbolism. The heavenly feast is depicted as the marriage supper of the Lamb, with Christ as the bridegroom, and the church as his bride. This exquisite imagery signifies the intimate and eternal union between the divine and his people, with the pure linen representing the saint's righteousness, made possible through Christ's redemptive sacrifice. As we meditate on these sacred texts, it becomes clear that the heavenly feast is more than a mere assurance of everlasting life and happiness, it is also a testament to the unity within Christ's body. At this divine gathering, believers from every ethnicity, language, and nation will unite to honor the Lamb and to savor the fruits of His salvific love eternally. May the profound truths of Scripture kindle within us an intensified yearning for the moment when we shall occupy our places at the Lord's table, fully immersed in His presence and the infinite joy of His celestial realm. The heavenly feast stands as a potent emblem of the ultimate realization of the divine plan of redemption. It signifies the apex of Christ's salvific act upon the cross and the re-establishment of flawless communion between the Creator and His creation. As we partake of the Eucharist on earth, we are reminded of this impending reality and the hope vested in Christ. 
Inextricably linked to the doctrine of Christ's second coming, the concept of the heavenly feast parallels the wedding banquet depicted in the parable of the ten virgins, Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13, symbolizing the bridegroom's return. Christ's advent will herald the consummate festivity, the marriage supper of the Lamb, signifying the end of an era and the dawn of eternity with our Savior. In our quotidian existence, the promise of the heavenly feast offers solace and motivation amidst tribulations and adversities. By focusing on the eternal bliss that lies ahead, we garner the fortitude to endure life's trials. The heavenly feast serves as a reminder that our current afflictions are transient and that a time will come when all wrongs will be rectified. Moreover, the heavenly feast underscores the profound love and grace of the Almighty. It celebrates the fact that through Christ, we are extended an invitation to the King's table, an invitation not predicated on our deeds, but solely on Jesus' atoning sacrifice on the cross. The heavenly feast is a testament to God's extraordinary measures to reconcile us with Himself. Ultimately, the heavenly feast directs us toward the eternal contentment and fulfillment found only in God's presence. It serves as a reminder that this world, with all its joys and sorrows, is not our ultimate abode. The heavenly feast offers us a glimpse into that other world, a realm where we will attain ultimate fulfillment in the presence of our Creator. Let our hearts overflow with gratitude for the remarkable promise of the heavenly feast. May we discover comfort, hope, and strength in the knowledge that through Christ, we are assured a place at the King's table, and that one day, we will bask in the fullness of His presence and the perpetual joy of His kingdom. As we await the grand celebration of the heavenly feast, we are privileged to partake in a preview of this divine banquet through the Lord's Supper or Eucharist. As the congregation of believers assembles to engage in this hallowed observance, we are reminded of Christ's profound sacrifice, our unity through Him, and the shared eternal optimism that binds us. Approaching the divine table is far beyond the mere execution of tradition, it is an act of engagement in a jubilee of the divine's affection and benevolence. In the act of breaking bread and sharing the chalice, we echo the proclamation of Christ's ultimate sacrifice, heralding his return as foretold in 1 Corinthians 11 verse 26. This sacred rite connects us with the faithful across ages and continents, reaffirming our collective belief and the covenant we share in Christ. The observance of the Eucharist is a moment steeped in profound appreciation and introspection, where we acknowledge the monumental sacrifice of Jesus Christ, whose body and blood were offered for our redemption. It is also a time to cherish the kinship we share as constituents of his ecclesiastical body, the Church. As we unite in harmony and affection, we are afforded a preview of the impeccable fellowship that awaits us in the heavenly banquet. In our terrestrial assemblies, where we honor the Eucharist, let us recall the significance of active involvement within our pastoral communities. It is within these gatherings that we find the strength to uplift one another, share burdens, and inspire acts of love and noble deeds, as encouraged in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 and 25. Let us also seize the opportunity to welcome others into this fellowship, imparting the joyous tidings of the divine's love, mercy, and the everlasting hope found in Christ. May our worldly commemorations of the Eucharist serve as a perpetual beacon of the celestial feast that lies ahead. As we partake of the bread and cup, let our hearts swell with thankfulness, our faith solidify, and our hope rejuvenate. Furthermore, let us persist in extending the invitation so that others may also experience the divine's benevolence as stated in Psalm 34 to 8, and ultimately join us in the paramount jubilation of the heavenly feast in the presence of our Redeemer. Through our exploration of the heavenly feast, we have unearthed this scriptural assurance's profound depth and breadth, spanning from Isaiah's prophecies to Jesus' parables and the revelations bestowed upon John. The heavenly feast is like the best party ever, where God's big plan comes together, and everyone who believes in Christ gets to be super happy forever. It's like a huge family reunion where people from all over the world come together to celebrate and worship God. This promise gives us hope and helps us keep going when things get tough, reminding us that the hard times won't last and good times are coming. If you haven't said yes to this amazing party in heaven, why not do it today? Jesus has a spot just for you, and he can't wait to have you there forever. If you're already on board, keep believing and holding on to this promise. It's like a life jacket that keeps you floating when life gets stormy. A dinner table is a place of connection, where stories unfold and memories are etched into the very grain of its wood. It's here that we celebrate triumphs, soothe sorrows, and savor the simple joy of being together. As we ponder our dinner table in heaven, we're reminded of the power of a shared meal. It's not just about sustenance, 
but about the stories shared, the laughter, the tears, and the silence filled with meaning. As we round up here, remember that the Heavenly Feast isn't just something we're waiting for. It's something that can change the way we live right now. Let's live every day looking forward to this awesome party in heaven and let it fill our lives with happiness, purpose, and love. Keep holding on to this hope because God always keeps his promises and don't forget to tell others about it so they can join in the fun and feel God's love and joy too. If this video has blessed you, please like, subscribe, and share it with your loved ones. You can also turn on your notification bell to keep seeing new videos from us. Thanks for watching.